Okay, so I just wanted to give a quick demo of a product I've been working on in my spare time. And it's a note-taking application which merges PDF reading capability, annotating, mind mapping into one app. So you don't have to go use one note and then import your PDFs and then you've lost your PDF document. And you know, you, you, I, for me personally, I like to link my notes to a PDF um, or at least mind map from a PDF. And now I've got the capability to do it all in one app. Um, anything you make on the PC can be imported onto a mobile app as well. So if you have an exam or something and you want to keep your notes with you, you can view your notes on the app and um, yeah, there's no annotating ability on that. But this is all developed for me really, but if there's interest, I'm happy to release it. Uh, it's very minimal, there are no menus. This is the biggest menu you get, uh, the ability to clear brushes. Um, we have split screen functionality here. It is made in the Unity game engine purely because I wanted to import it into virtual reality so I could maybe have like a full 360 mind map. Uh, I'd like to experiment with that. And I think I'll just demonstrate some, some of the functionality and just some of the quirky features that uh, might benefit yourself. Um, on a side note, I am using a stylus now and you can see that Google Chrome has actually updated their PDF reading capabilities to uh, be a little better, uh, but it's still a lot of applications only allow you to annotate on margins like Adobe Reader or OneNote, for example, when you need multiple apps. But the idea for this one is the contrary. So let's go through um, an example. Um, let's load up a mind map we have here um, of a product I created earlier. And that is just a drag and drop feature. As you can see, there was no searching there. Um, I've zoomed out here, there's just some notes written about, and that's nice. And then we can drag a PDF into the document and uh, use this PDF to annotate notes from. Um, so as you can see here, we have our PDF document in the, in the scene now. And the cool thing is, if we go split screen, we can see that you have the capability to continue annotating in various areas. Maybe you're reading through an algorithm um, and you want to further discuss a point that you made earlier. Um, you can, it allows you just to find relationships within a paper or numerous papers a little easier. Um, you can also annotate on top of the, uh, the actual PDF if you want as well. So say we in here, we're reading through this and we discovered that something's quite interesting. Um, we can just take additional notes here and and then when we're quite happy um, actually prior to that just to show as well rather than erasing uh, it's a highlighting feature I basically just found this easier because if you if you're um, if you're writing an equation uh, or just a simple arithmetic uh, I find that if you're rubbing things out you tend to overlap um, and it's just not ideal. Uh, your, your eraser kind of erases things you don't want. So I'll just, if you just touch the lines, you can erase them and everything's on the toolbar at the top. Um, but yeah, and then when you're quite content, you can save this one product project and you can even unload the PDF and import another PDF. Um, and then you can continue using this as your comprehensive note sheet for that one subject. If you, and you can also save this, the the project and then the PDF will be saved inside of here. So if there is like a PDF that is very important to what you're studying, um, you can always keep that on. Um, another cool feature is that say we want to combine uh, notes. So here we just have a virtuality lab idea and here we have uh, another graph that we've drawn and that's now imported into these notes. So you can create multiple types of notes and import them into the project and then you can eventually have one cohesive product um, that you can always go back to and refer to for, for your subjects. Um, the split screen mode is is really for reading the PDF document um, uh, but it's, it's quite nice to use a stylus and and uh, the top button essentially allows you, they can all be mapped but for me as I'm the only person using it um, I like to fiddle and, and doodle. Um, as you can see there, that was my fault. I've I just introduced that bug actually 10 minutes ago. But uh, yeah, like it's a 
quite like you know as I'm reading through notes I, I might find something and go ah reference 18 um, or I can go guaranteed error bounds it's like oh there's words I like and you can actually end up highlighting it will be it won't be showing transparent just now but it is um, and yeah so you can end up highlighting key key things um, I tend to just put little marks uh, throughout my notes and then uh, I gotta go back and I'm like ah yes this is the point I wanted to touch on this um, but yeah I think that's all I really want to show I didn't want to go on for too long but it looks like I have um, we just clear all the brushes and clear the PDFs so we have a plain project um, I'll just load up another product uh, what's this hydro generating so uh, uh, my handwriting's crap. I'm still getting used to the stylus, but it also makes a huge difference if your aspect ratio is linked to your trackpad. So, 16 by 9 trackpad, get it on a 16 by an inch monitor or scale it down appropriately. But yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate this. If you're interested, let me know. I'll put a Trello link in the description, which basically shows the features that will be coming. Uh, it really is just for me, uh, but I suppose if it, someone else wants to use it, then they're welcome to.